Okay, gonna fade in here for uh, Tess up. Never buy it, it sucks. Uh, part nine, I believe. So this is where I'm at. I didn't stop and take video of what I was working. It's just too tedious to do that. So anyway, to bring up the date, this is the first part for the <sighs> thread lock where they have the uh, pin set pins in there. This is the second one for the uh, second part for the turbine. This was the gap that was left over above it. Uh, I'm going to eat that up because of this collar. Basically, you know, dis displaced it. So I put that back on there. What I did was, same thing up here. I threaded this quarter 20 down about so. This one is quarter 20 all the way through here. Probably about there, one inch or so. Uh, quarter 20, this one. There's thread in there, so it's threaded on. So this is basically threaded on. Now I'm going to take the welder and uh, take some rod, burn two beads, at least, you know, half moon there and half moon on this side, and then polish it back down for the size uh, to three quarter to make sure it goes in there smoothly. And that will extend up into the shaft uh, inside the turbine. So hopefully that does. I want to bring the quarter inch rod down to the center and I'll, I'll Loctite that in there with the red Loctite and then basically uh, have the threaded rod go all the way up the uh, tower to the top and then I'll have a little centering bushing up there to put the threaded rod through and then pull that tight so when the turbine actually gets pulled down on here it will sit on this which is the rotating part of the bearing I'll pull pressure so it sits down flush on this which is basically perpendicular to this and perpendicular to the top so hopefully everything squares itself out and it doesn't have any wobble when I'm done. I put this in there, it's pretty good tight tolerance. This is extremely tight tolerance inside that uh, bushing on the uh, last part. I wish Tessa had that kind of tolerance. Since they don't, it just it moves too much. This is just a hair over the size of this uh, for three quarter. So anyway, that's where I'm at. And then I'll uh, be back. I'm gonna run, like I said, two beads on there next. I gotta go over to the store and get some uh, set screws, Allen set screws. Uh, for the other two and the aluminum part out there. So that's it for now. I'll get to the welding. I'll show you that afterwards and then I'll get the two set screws set in the uh, turbine and then I'll be back at it again. That should straighten out the wobble problem.